Greetings and salutations fellow humanoids, tis I once again your friend Pagan, and welcome back to our Let's Play series of 7 Days to Die on Survivalist Difficulty in Alpha 19, Episode 11. We are on the night of Day 10, working on what will be eventually the helipad. I figured uh, instead of just uh, hunkering down for the night we could work on the helipad uh, up here on the safety of the cathedral top. Uh, should be alright, and uh, we'll be making good use of our time. So anyway, I'll work on this a little bit, and uh, run you through it real quick, and let you know if anything interesting happens beyond that. what you get. And we are back on the morning of day 11, everybody. Uh, so we set up a basic platform for our, what will be a helipad eventually. Uh, we'll be improving it, mostly <laughs> for the aesthetics in the long run, but uh, it's functional enough for now. And uh, we're gonna use our daytime, our daylight, to uh, acquire as much wealth as possible because we wanna be able to buy a gyrocopter as soon as possible and fly out of this hellscape. In case you missed uh, when we establish our objectives, the end game goals we have set for ourselves is to um, equip a gyrocopter, or should I say supply a gyrocopter, full of supplies uh, necessary for survival, such as fuel, ammo, meds, and food. So first part, of course, will be acquiring said gyrocopter, which will be the hardest part. They are probably the most expensive vehicle. I'm not sure exactly how much they may cost, but it might be anywhere between 80 to 160,000 tokens, I would say. Which may seem like a lot, but it's, uh, it's doable, especially in the long run. Could you not? Alright, first things first, let's hit up the little graveyard beside the cathedral uh, before the trader opens. Gotta watch her step around here, there's tall grass everywhere, and sleeping zombies. Thank <laughs> you. 
Got the drop on me, that one. Oh, there's another one to my right. Here is Zed puttering around here. He's all right. Should be some good stuff down here. <laughs> nice try. Machine Gunner, Volume 5. Fully automatic fire, it's more accurate with each shot fired. Sure. Slow and steady wins the race. Huh. Cool little cool little crematorium they got going here.
A lot of Zeds coming our way. Sorry. Sorry. Nice, upgrade to our blunderbuss. Level six primitive bow and two rifle parts. <sighs> I think we'll hold on to that bow for now. Upgrade to our stone axe as well. Okay. Let's see if we can be lucky. Beautiful. Muzzle break? Sure. Garbage. Garbage. That's a pretty bad loot chest right there. Alright, let's get out of here and hit up the trader. Now, one thing we should keep in mind when uh, looting graveyards is that uh, coffins are good to be taken apart when you've read the book Wasteland Treasures Volume 2 because you get to harvest bones, jewelry, and precious gems when you take apart coffins, actually, which is a great boon. So if ever we find Wasteland Treasures Volume 2, we'll hit up this POI again, dig up all the coffins, and uh, take them apart to get a good amount of precious gems out of that, which is worth a butt-ton of cash. All right, let's hit up the trader and see what she has for us. We've got the best prices in the wasteland. All righty then. All right, nothing Stay amazing. Out there. Let's see if she has any good quests. Let's take the fetch right, to the north quest. Fantastic! Hope to see you soon. And off we go. Just gonna take a second to veer off from our objective for a second. Um, looks like we got a huge POI over there. It might be, from the looks of it, either the Shamway Foods or the Shotgun Messiah Factory. One way or another, if we hit that up, that's uh, a loot run that could take more than a day, actually. And a police station right beside. Wow. Yeah, this is a Shamway Foods factory. This thing is huge and really dangerous. So yeah, this will be one of our objectives. Maybe tomorrow, actually. If we feel especially brave and potentially suicidal, we can hit it up. All right, before we activate this quest, I'm going to see if there's one or two things I could loot up just before, you know, to get a double loot for example let's take apart this workbench which gives great resources
Bingo. Exactly what I was looking for. Alright. Not bad. Better at least. Now that's some good upgrades for the pick. 15% more damage to iron and stone. All right, let's reset the POI and hit this up again. Oh look, everything is back. Another damn stone shovel. Whoa! Oh, he came from up, up there, did he? Impressive. Steel club parts? Oh, we'll probably sell those. Bandelier mod? Well, oh. even though we have the recipe, might as well equip it since now we won't have to craft it. All right, we got the satchel. We can head back to the trader whenever we want. Let's keep looting a little bit. This place is pretty good. Golden rod recipe? Yeah, sure. Why not?
Let's head down into the basement, see what else there is. Wheels, eh? Sure. Down, sir. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's turn in the quest, see what we can get. It, don't spend it all in one place, but if you do, make sure it's here. Let's take the mono, Molotov cocktails. Those would be great for Horde night. All right, we have 16,000 Dukes on the dot. Plus 10% attack speed with spears. Not bad. I think we'll take it. Now that was a good deal. Trust me. I'm a doctor. All right, we're looking pretty good. We have a little bit of time left in the day. So uh, let's scout, a, scout around a bit, see what we could find. An open window. Lucky. So this POI seems pretty small. Let's hit it up and end the day on that. Hello. Sneaky. Very sneaky. Gotta love all these little hidden nooks and crannies in the POIs. Sorry. That uh, plus 10% attack speed is very noticeable with the spear. Oh crap. Of course I didn't reload my gun. Why would I? Maybe I just like a challenge or something, folks.
Man, we have a lot of canned salmon. I hope we find the fish tacos recipe. Which reminds me, we have some uh, chili dogs to make once we get home. So let's hold off on eating those cans of chili and salmon for now. Two bucks. Guns are reloaded. Double checking, folks. You know, live and learn. Live and learn. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Spears make doing work on these guys now. A paranoid mine is a healthy mine in this game. Ooh. Let's see, SMG auto turret schematic. Ooh, do I buy that? Well, it's only worth 176, so we might as well, I think. Uh, you can fall up to 15 meters without taking damage if you're carrying 5,000 dukes or more. That's actually pretty decent. Let's see here. Level one iron spear. Too bad it ain't higher quality. Leather duster, finally, a proper overcoat. Hmm, kind of look funny in the green, but uh, let's keep it for now. Let's head to the roof on the outside here. I get the feeling there's some stuff. Maybe just this. solar panels. So, can't really use these, but we could take it apart for interesting pieces. Alright. Not a bad loot run for something completely improvised. Alright, that's just about all the time I have for today, so I hope that you'll be catching us in the next episode. If you liked our content today, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel and ringing that notification bell. It helps the channel very much and is very appreciated, and uh, I'll catch you on in the next one. Take care.